Hey guys, if there was a dragonborn band of bards, would they be called Imagine Humans? <laughs> I hope you never walk again. <laughs> Hey, what's up everybody? Atmospheric Annihilation Cannon here, and uh, it's time for another dex save. <laughs> but you're not gonna make the DC anyway, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, how are you guys doing? Hope you're having a wonderful day today. Before jumping into today's video, I just wanna quickly kindly ask you, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so now. It only takes a moment, you can undo it later, and uh, you know, I would appreciate that a lot, so thanks so much for that. And uh, yeah, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you do, please consider smashing the like button. D&D Species Design. <laughs> Basically for the male, um, excepting the orc, which is pretty much just a human, I guess taller maybe, and with elf ears, <laughs> uh, they all have pretty pretty good designs, right? They look, uh, you know, like they, you would expect them to be. Uh, for the females though, they're just colored. <laughs> Except the dwarf, the dwarf is the same for both. <laughs> I don't think this is that accurate because usually it's like, I don't know, the orc female has like some more muscles and like the troll one as well and you know, the demon one might actually have horns. Um, still, <laughs> yeah. Dungeons and Addiction. To be fair, it's a fun and pretty harmless addiction. I think we're all in a dark place. I have dark vision, <laughs> says a group of like, I don't know, a lot of people collectively. D&D Addicts Anonymous. That should be a thing, but I think more so for the dice addicts, <laughs> if anything. Maybe the murder hobos too. Some will say it's overpowered. Non-fungible trident. Weapon, trident, and artifact which requires attunement. You gain a plus 3 to attack and damage rolls made with this magic weapon. Whenever you score a critical hit on a creature with this weapon, they instantly die. In addition, the non-fungible trident can be used to cast the wish spell 3 times per day. Curse. You may never actually wield the trident in a physical sense. You may never touch the trident or attune to it at all. Yes, you may have purchased it and you do own it, however, it must stay sealed within the ancient vaults of Tyrigsol. Instead of wielding it, you may carry a fine painting of the trident, which other creatures can make a convincing copy of this painting with a DC-10 toolcheck, and official papers of authentication to confirm that you do technically own the trident and show just how special you are. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen a you know NFT joke on the D&D memes subreddit. <laughs> actually, actually, pretty good one this time. Different races and their gaming habits. Elf video games. 300-hour JRPGs with legions of characters and several novels worth of text. Labyrinthine upgrade trees and customization options. The most insufferably unintuitive UI possible. A single turn-based battle can take hours. Every character has an Inuit stat. Dwarf video games. Base building strategy FPSs that has a whole wiki page on the flexible versus tensile strengths of different building materials. Dwarven rhythm games have mini games where you have to manage supply lines. <laughs> Mortals cannot comprehend Dwarven grand strategy games. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm loving this so far. Halfling video games. What appears on the surface to be a viscerally calming farming simulator is actually an extraordinarily complex social combat game about cutthroat HOA politics. Goblin video games. Wildly unbalanced collectathon gachas where half the fun is finding new, hilariously broken strategies. Zeny uber violent team shooters about bugs. And MOBAs so bad that it's almost an art. Orc video games. Addictive in-browser flash games with names like Beast Crush 4 and Borag Meat Game. The art is always kinda bad, but in a charming way. The music though, always slaps. And hashtag humans only have one game in this world, and it's Counter-Strike Source. <laughs> I'll take it, hey, that is actually, I'll take it. I, maybe I would take CSGO at this point, but uh, you know what, Source is fine. <laughs> Ace bards are almost as overdone as horny bards by now. We need character concepts for bards. <gasps> bard. Asexual bard. How about a character who isn't completely defined by sexuality? No, if it's a bard, he has to be defined by sexuality. <laughs> Out the window you go. Also, I'm not sure if it's the first time I'm hearing it, but definitely not often enough to notice, right? Uh, so I'm pretty sure at least from my perspective, ace bards are nowhere near close as overdone as <gasps> bards. I mean, they're not overdone at all. <laughs> they're actually a very new and intriguing concept for me at this point. We need some gender equality. You guys are stupid for making female characters cute in Dungeons and Dragons. 
to a crowd to the crowd of RDD memes. We should make male characters cute as well. <laughs> hey, everyone's happy with that, yeah. The mayor knows and he wants to free it. The wizard PC who cast Identify and realized that the mayor's gauntlets have a dormant god within them and the quote-unquote mayor that knows more than he lets on. <laughs> well, that's a quick plot idea from a short meme. You guys read too much D&D horror stories. How people imagine Dungeon Master vs. Players. Toxic people fighting each other and ruining the fun. Most DM vs. Players in reality. Friends trolling their omnipotent friend because he's not omniscient. Gorilla Arms. Hey all, message me individually with some magic items that you might like for your character now or down the line. If you know specifics, that's great, but if it's as general as a cool melee weapon or something to boost my dexterity, that's fine too. Also, if you don't respond to this, then you're only hurting yourself because I won't be able to give you items that you actually want. Okay, thanks, bye. Is there a magic item that will give me gorilla arms? I don't care if it makes me stronger or not, I just want gorilla arms. You don't care if it makes you stronger? Like you just want the aesthetic? Big ol' gorilla arms. I'll make a note. <laughs> that was such a quit and wholesome interaction. Also, that guy seems like a really nice DM. Scribing furiously. In the dog world, humans are elves that routinely live to be 500 plus years old. They live so long, but the good ones still bond with us for our entire lives. <laughs> Me and my DM friends. Write that down, write that down. <laughs> What is game balance anyway? Variant human is banned. <laughs> Everyone's mad. Because everyone gets a free feat at level 1. <laughs> Who cares about game balance really? I mean the game is absolutely not balanced anyways, right? So doesn't matter. <laughs> the unstoppable tide of 9th level spells. Does your dungeon master value stability? Are you A. A spellcaster and B. Truly insane? Time for a deadly encounter. Unrestricted Golem Warfare. Simply reach 17th level and infuse your character with the knowledge of true polymorph. Easy. Now, consider using object into creature to create 90,000 <laughs> 90, obedient... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Jesus Christ, okay, let me try that again. Now, consider using object into creature to create 90,000 obedient clay golem slaves, or less if you don't have a 247 year lifespan mortal. An army of these will gladly slaughter helpless peasants, for their damage immunities stop harm from anyone who earns under 1,500 gold pieces annually. Some claim that this will end the campaign. This is just the introduction. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ, man. This entire post was all on its all, all on its own an entire adventure, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is how I wanted to flavor my alchemy jug. Dwarf Artificer in a nutshell. What do you think of my new hat? It looks like you're trying to compensate something. Exactly! This hat compensates the lack of beer in my body. <laughs> Whoa! Awesome! <laughs> That's a cool hat. That's actually a cool hat. <laughs> I had a brief discussion with my D&D group. Hey guys, if there was a dragonborn band of bards, would they be called Imagine Humans? <laughs> I hope you never walk again. <laughs> Jesus Christ bro, Nikki D had a really bad day. <laughs> or he's real tired of your uh, of your jokes, I don't know, one, of, one or the other, but uh, <laughs> that sounds really extreme. Great dice are forged in fire. It is the privilege of lesser dice to light the flame. What are the YouTube gurus' views on metal dice? <laughs> okay, hold on, wait, I just... Lesser dice aren't usually made of plastic? I I, I would really not recommend lighting the, lightning the flame with that. <laughs> Z says, there are good dice if balanced properly, but they damage your table and can be very dangerous. Jokat says, metal dice are the one true dice forged in fire to deal damage both in-game and IRL. <laughs> That's a good take, yeah. <laughs> Exterminate is too basic. I like eloquence in my intimidation. How worth forged intimidate without saying a word? <laughs> uh, it has a warning on it. Okay. This machine does not know the difference between metal and flesh, nor does it care. There are faux pas, and then there was this. DM, you are seated at the head table of Lord Donstil's banquet. Roll me a wisdom check for proper etiquette. <laughs> Fighter. <laughs> Ah, uh, for <gasps> sake, 3 plus 2? I mean... <laughs> oh god. You know, he could probably blame it on stress and get away with it. <laughs>
top tier. What's the worst advice that you can give to a new player in D&D? D&D Wiki is a great player resource that your DM will love. <laughs> okay, <laughs> noted. Huh. Warlocks literally only want one thing and it's freaking disgusting. Short rest. <laughs> that is so extreme and disgusting, dude, Jesus Christ. I have been truly blessed today, my dudes. When your DM suggests an idea for how your backstory impacts the campaign and it's the same freaking idea that you had. I'm not impatient, I'm just really excited. Me while maintaining direct eye contact. When it's not my turn, but I know exactly what I'm gonna do this round. Shakes dice enthusiastically. I think that's way more creepy than enthusiastic, but um, yeah, anyway. <laughs> D&D magic item cards have a sense of humor. Cloak of protection, cloak of the manta ray, and cloak of invisibility. <laughs> it's pretty good, it's pretty good. So the topic of character creation came up. We gnomes are team players. Gnomes will be shot on sight. What did gnomes do to you? Existed. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I think that sounds reasonable. Also, um, <laughs> I did notice that all the names start with bro, that was a nice touch. Technically, he's a bard cleric multiclass, but the point still stands. My bard using healing magic. <laughs> oh god, he's dying. Someone do something quick. Uh, uh. <laughs> and then he just starts singing. I mean, you might get a weird initial reaction, but they're gonna they're gonna get it later, right? <laughs> you will be missed, our brother in arms. The party saying their goodbyes to a fallen comrade, and it's the joke character who ended up being the most in-depth character amongst the group. I don't know how or why that seems to be a thing that's like somewhat common, right? You wouldn't expect it to be common. <laughs> Hurry up. Me, watching another player roleplay shopping for 2 hours, knowing that this is the only time that I get to play <laughs> in 2 weeks, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry to hear that. Jesus Christ, like you get to you get to play a you know game of D and D that you're looking forward to once every two weeks, unfortunately, and and it ends up just being a filler <laughs> session. The wizard spellbooks are just the in-game version of D and D Beyond. Players, why can't you remember more than a few spells without needing to use a book? Wizards, can you? <laughs> uh, absolutely left them speechless. Okay. <laughs> Nervous laughter. I play with psychopaths. Please help, I'm scared. You have the blacksmith overcharge your rich players by a bit, so they will get 69 coins as change, hoping to get some laughs. They kill him for it. They crucify him to the wall of his house using his unfinished blunt kitchen knives, and they burn his house down with his family sleeping on the second floor. What the f? What the f? Did I just read? For. Okay, no, that was in th this is this was enough D and D memes for today. Yeah, we're just Jesus Christ, man! You can't see my hands right now, but you can imagine what I'm trying to say, right? Like there's there's murder hobo level, which is you know already pretty bad, and then there's this, and it's insanely much worse. What the f was this, dude? I don't even think I'm exaggerating when I when I say that this is probably the most psychopathic thing I've seen PCs do or you know read about. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> anyway, I guess that's gonna be it for today's video. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like if you did and subscribe for more if you haven't already. Also, big thank you to everyone supporting channel on Patreon as well as here on YouTube. I uh, appreciate it a lot. So thanks so much for that. Links are if you want to check those out as well as in the social media, Discord, or something else. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.